Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are uh, talking about uh, setting up a 4 node Hadoop cluster using VMs. And so far we have installed Cloudera Manager and then uh, we added host to the cluster and also we have set up Cloudera Management Service. As of now there are certain warnings. Um, the primary motive about this video is to set up a tool called Zookeeper. Uh, it's uh, it's not a significant tool in the Hadoop ecosystem, but it is it is used for different purposes. So as part of this video, we will only see how to configure Zookeeper, and then the relevance of the Zookeeper we will understand as we add more and more tools uh, going forward. Before getting into setting up Zookeeper, let us make sure these uh, warnings are gone. So our host has only 20 GB storage by default. Uh, hence, a uh, lot of uh, uh, warnings will be coming up about uh, uh, the storage. So all these warnings are related to storage. So I am just suppressing all these things. You can click on suppress and confirm. You should not do this in the production cluster. Uh, you have to uh, configure the uh, rules properly so that the alerts are generated and emailed to you in timely manner. But for development purpose, all these storage related issues can be suppressed. Okay, once these are suppressed, now we will actually add the service called Zookeeper. So to add the service, um, first we, when we actually add the host, those hosts are added under cluster one. Okay, if you want to add a new cluster, you can click uh, add cluster and you can start with a new set of hosts. But in this case, for the already existing cluster, we want to add the services. And when we actually add the cluster, we only added hosts earlier. For the first time, we are actually adding a service under uh, cluster 1. Uh, so, as part of CDH 5, 5.7, we will be adding a service called Zookeeper. Click on continue. So, Zookeeper typically runs on three nodes. Uh, the reasons and all we will understand later. But to configure Zookeeper, we have to choose three of the uh, three nodes uh, um, at the least. You can do it to even one as part of the practice, but I will recommend to use three. So I am using uh, node 0, one, node 0, 2 and node 0, 3 to set up Zookeeper and click on OK and click on continue. And uh, if you want to change the data directory or data log directory for Zookeeper, you can change it over here. By default, the transaction logs of Zookeeper and data uh, will be stored under where lib zookeeper and we will leave the defaults if you want to customize you can customize over here and click on continue and then it will try to initialize and start the zookeeper service on our cluster it will take a while to initialize and start so now the zookeeper is started i have uh, clicked on complete and you can see um, that uh, uh, it is up and running. There are certain warnings. Um, again, you might get alerts related to the storage capacity. You can just ignore those things. Uh, for now, you don't need to worry about those things. Okay. It is quite common to see warnings like this um, uh, in um, uh, lower configuration uh, uh, cluster setup like the way we are doing. We are actually uh, using only four nodes. And uh, each of those nodes have virtual memory of 4 GB, 2 GB, 2 GB, 2 GB. Uh, hence, you will start. You will always uh, see warnings related to the configurations. If you click on this one, you can see that uh, the default uh, heap size for Cloudera management service is one gigabytes, but it only took 768 MB because we don't have enough configuration. Overall, we have only 4 GB for the uh, for the node on which Cloudera manager is running. And uh, when we add more and more services, that uh, memory will be squeezed uh, down. So you can ignore those kind of memory issues. Uh, sometimes 
because of this lower memory configuration uh, your uh, vms will crash you just have to reboot to to at least uh, practice the hands on stuff that being said we have added the first service called zookeeper on our uh, cluster um, as uh, as part of cdh installation uh, in the subsequent videos we will add more and more services uh, and then slowly we'll understand the relevance of zookeeper also when we actually try to set up high availability services on name node or resource manager or any other uh, component that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about the uh, about uh, big data or hadoop please join my linkedin group called it university uh, big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye